All right, guys, in my last video, I was wrong on the timing of the down move I was expecting, but I don't believe I'm wrong overall. I think I'm just a little bit early. So today I'm going to show you how high I think Bitcoin can go max, and I'm going to show you exactly why and basically just back up my stance that we're going to 14 to 16 K. Okay, so 25 seven to 26,200 is the highest I see Bitcoin going. Most people think that we're going to 28K, 30K next. I don't think you're even going to reach those targets. That being said, I didn't think we'd reach 23K and we did get there. But basically the only reason I didn't think we'd get to 23K is because we're playing this pattern right here. Okay, higher low, higher low, fake breakdown, pop up one last time before a dump lower. This is exactly what we saw over here. Okay in this bear flag, right? Higher low, higher low, fake break lower, pop up just slightly, one last bounce before dumping lower. So basically, we are just playing based on this pattern that this would be the last bounce. And so I still believe this is the last overall bounce, but it just didn't end where we thought it would end, which was we thought it'd probably end right around here, right up closer to 22K. So like I said, best case scenario, I think you get maybe one last push higher, but you know, that's going to be lucky in my opinion. Why? Well, two things. Look at the volatility of the NASDAQ. We'll also look at the volatility of just the S&P 500 in the overall market. But look, every time volatility gets down here, it pumps. Okay, pumps. Volatility pumps. Volatility pumps. Volatility pumps. Volatility hasn't pumped yet, but I believe it will soon. Okay, because you can see sometimes it hovers around the trend, hovers around the trend before it gets that pump. See, when volatility pumps, the market dumps. They're inversely correlated, and this is the volatility of the tech market. So basically, when this thing pumps, Bitcoin's going to dump. I think you're right at support pretty much, give or take, maybe a couple points, 28 as the low maybe, before you pump up there. It's exactly why, guys, when volatility is in an uptrend, that means the market's in a downtrend. When volatility gets to support, the market hits resistance. Next correlation you need to be keeping track of is the U.S. dollar. You see, when the market bottoms, the U.S. dollar collapses. It starts tanking lower, and we saw that here in the COVID crash. Look, market finds a bottom. The dollar starts dumping, okay? It dumps from 104 down to 98 within one single week, okay? So that's how you know it's a bottom. But let me ask you, does this look like a bottom? Does this look anything like this? No, you see, we're just pulling back. We're descending slowly, getting a you know a little breather before we actually continue higher. You can see the parabola is still intact. And look, if this was a chart of Bitcoin, you would be bullish. Well, look, if you understand that the US dollar is inversely correlated to the market in Bitcoin, but once again, if you just imagine this was Bitcoin, you'd be bullish on this. So if you are bullish on this, then you should be bearish on the market overall still. And last but not least, one of the most important things is not just Vixen, but VIX. And they're overall very similar, but I just want to highlight that, look, volatility is in an uptrend, dollars in an uptrend, and they're both pulling back. Pulling back to where? Pulling back to support. When these things find support, the market finds resistance and usually is closer to the end of its pump. So... VIX is in an uptrend. Look, you can see it's not exactly at the bottom of the uptrend, but for the most part, it's there. So overall, guys, if you don't get it by now, and this has happened so many times, you know, last time we were over here and I called for volatility to pump, it did, and the market dumped. So if you haven't learned your lesson by now, I don't know when you're going to learn it, but when volatility is in an uptrend, it gets to support. It's not the time to be bullish, okay? So while everyone thinks that we're going to go to 28, 30K, I don't believe we'll get there. I think 26.2 is the max. And if you're not ready, then I don't know what else I can do to get you ready. Okay, so that is your update for today. It's still a bear flag. You're making these higher highs and higher lows after a major down move. Elon Musk, the world's richest man, one of the smartest, brightest people of all time, sold his Bitcoin between 29 and a half K ish. And so if the world's smartest man sold it there, you know, that kind of lines up with the charts that we're probably not going to go above there anytime soon right now, okay? You know, look, you can say that's not logical or that's not correctly put together, whatever you want to say. Look, at the end of the day, I'm going off the charts and I'm just telling you something that happened in real life that kind of lines up with the charts, all right? You know, people are being laid off. You have a bear flag. You have Elon Musk, the world's richest man, selling there. And you have me, the greatest predictor of all time, telling you I think we're going lower. So, Guys, if you're not following me on Twitter, you need to because 
most of the time I just don't want to even make a video okay and you know a lot of times it's a lot easier to just post a quick tweet on Twitter so look if you think this is the bottom please buy it we're getting a little pullback here and uh, no if you're so confident it's the bottom you should buy it here max I see you being in profit is maybe a couple weeks or whatever but uh, look guys chasing the pump can make you profitable for a couple days but it can leave you in the dirt for years or months so you know enjoy whatever profits you may be in chasing the pump for a little but I don't think it's gonna last long and I think in three months from now four months from now you're gonna look back and you're gonna say wow this guy was right again I didn't want to believe him meow meow I'm a f damn I FOMO and bought the pump so max upside 25 7 to 26 2 guys like I said if you just want to follow me on Twitter get these quick tweets save yourself some time and everything uh, but of course these analysis videos are great too but guys that's your update 26 2 max hope you're ready I've tried to prepare you and uh, guys the last time I was wrong right basically I don't even consider myself to be really be wrong I just consider myself to be off on the timing you know like I said I thought hey we're probably gonna start dropping last week right here okay oh my god we went a little bit higher before we go lower oh, oh my god I'm so wrong oh you know the last time I was truly wrong guys it's been a long freaking time on this channel. Okay, the last time I was truly wrong on this channel was back here, uh, right here. In September, October of 2021, I thought we were going to break lower here, and we didn't. Okay, so right now I think we're going to break lower. Oh, man, what if I'm wrong here? I don't think I'm going to be. We have so many reasons, so many factors, everything pointing to it. And but you know like this was the last time I was wrong now I want you to know all the times I was right just so you know uh, like this is like insane guys this is why everyone knows I'm the greatest predictor ever set foot on this planet because no one's called the market with the accuracy that I have and so I called the dump when we were at 52k I called the dump down to 30k I called the El Salvador flash crash the day before it happened. I shorted the top at 69k in Bitcoin. I shorted the top in Polkadot at $54. I shorted the top in Ethereum at $4,800. And these videos and these trades are on my channel. I called right here on in February, February the 7th, okay, when Bitcoin pumped from 33k to 44k. Everyone thought it was the bottom. Okay, so here I come. When everyone thinks it's the bottom, I make this tweet on February 7th saying I think we're gonna go down to 26k and lower and that's exactly what we do right there when everyone thought it was the bottom and that the bull market was gonna be back on okay then we shorted right here at 43k made fifty thousand dollars we shorted here at 41k and made a hundred and ten thousand dollars okay guys no one has called the market with the accuracy that I have and you'd be a fool to not give some attention to my call or at least you know consider it because if you've tried to counter me, if you've tried to play the opposite of me, you have literally gotten smashed nine times out of ten. Okay? So if you want to go for the 10% chance that you're going to be right and I'm going to be wrong, go for it. But like I said, in three months from now, we're going to fast forward and you're going to say, wow, this guy was right again. And that's what makes me the greatest predictor to ever step on this planet. So if you're not following me on YouTube or on Twitter, you should right now so you don't miss the next video or tweet. Guys, that's my analysis. Dollar, bullish. VIX, bullish. They're both in uptrends, pulling back to support. Now, even on the shorter time frames, look, dollars bottomed at 106.4, three days in a row. Right here, right here, right here. That's a short-term time frame combined with the longer-term uptrend of the dollar. And then, of course, you have VIX here bottoming around 23 bucks. But we do know VIX has downside about 21 at the max, I think. Uh, and then we know Bitcoin has upside max to about 26.2 in my eyes. Okay, so there you go. That's my analysis. And to everyone wondering, will we ever see ETH at a thousand dollars again? You absolutely will in my eyes. I even had a dream last night that we were at 1060, 1060 in Ethereum, and I was laughing my ass off because of all the people who are wondering if we'd ever get back down there. So, you know, guys, we're gonna see if my dream comes true. But at the end of the day. I don't rely on my dreams. I rely on the charts. And so, look, I think it'll be very lucky if the market can even get this high. But this is where I'll be looking to very aggressively look to short the market for the longer term, for the medium term. Okay. And this is a beautiful area in Ethereum. So, look, I will not be surprised at all if we get up to like 1699, 
1700 okay because this is a beautiful downtrend right here okay followed into plenty and plenty of resistance so this is where my eyes are set on some medium term longer term short holds okay is up there so and part of me does hope we go a little bit more to the upside a little higher so I can really set up my shorts so I can really prepare you know for a really you know really really juicy drop from you know let's say like 1800 down boom that's 50 percent okay 3x 2x leverage you just doubled your money okay on very low leverage on very low risk you know and then when you double your money and the market dumped 50 percent you really quadrupled your assets why because once again think about it if I have a hundred dollars right now and then I make a hundred percent on that hundred dollars so I make I have two hundred dollars now and Bitcoin dropped from a hundred dollars to fifty dollars I have two hundred dollars to go ham and buy fifty dollars worth a uh, fifty dollar Bitcoin well now I have four Bitcoin right so you quadruple your money if you double your money on the way down shorting is powerful guys okay it's what the smartest people are doing right now if they can if they have the skills if they know how to and that's what we're doing in crash alerts so if you want to join the alerts first link down below crash training.com slash crash alerts I'll be live alerting you when I'm jumping in when I'm jumping out when I'm setting up my shorts where's my stop loss all that and more so click that if you want to join and trade the market but trading is not easy 40% of our members are profitable 60% have tried and failed just because you join my alerts does not mean you're going to be instantly profitable. Don't even bother if you can't manage your risk. If you lose all your money in one trade, I can win 99 trades in a row, and you can lose all your money on the 100th trade. Don't bother. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your energy joining my alerts if you can't handle and manage your own risk and be, you know, if you're an idiot. Okay, I don't want you to join if you're an idiot. Okay, so anyways, that's my analysis. I'm still bearish. I'm just a little early, I believe, on that call. Uh, you know, basically expecting a reversal last week. At the end of the day, guys, holy shit, how many times can I be right? And overall, holy crap, that's a micro scale, you know, miss. Like I'm, I'm, I'm off by a little. Okay, it's not like your guys who are, you know, you're off by, you know, you're calling for a hundred k Bitcoin. You're gonna be off by like fucking four years. So there's a big difference between being off by like one or two weeks and being off by four years, like everyone else you watch. So. By the way, like I said, last time I was wrong was down here. So holy shit, it's it should honestly be a celebration when I'm wrong because you know me being wrong is like rarer than the Super Bowl. And I also have so many insane calls. I even forget some of them. Like remember when I called this pump right here when we were at 39k? You can go back on YouTube and watch that video around March. Remember when I called this dump right here from 30k, right? Because I we remember we went over this pattern. You drag and drop that. That's exactly how we saw this coming down to 20k. Okay. Oh, and also don't forget this one right here where we're at 57k and the day before it happened, I called the dump down to 47k. That was one, oh, that was a wild one, man. But anyways, I like it's, it's ridiculous, guys. 9 times out of 10, I will be right, you will be wrong. So that's an 80% bear market bounce so far in Ethereum. If you guys know how the bear market bounces go, a lot of times you'll bounce 100% and then you drop. It's nothing new, it's nothing out of the ordinary. So you know, you sh this shouldn't be anything new, guys, to you. So, anyways, I'll see you later. Take care.